We want to go to uh, Jen Crawford, who's who's uh, in Virginia uh, there at this event. Uh, Jen, I want to point out first that the Navy has actually contacted us. They want to make sure that it's known that the USS Wisconsin, which was behind Paul Ryan, is a retired battleship that serves as a museum, and the Navy has no connection to the campaign. But uh, I, I suspect, Jen, this is a very popular choice with the base of the Republican Party. Well, many conservatives were encouraging Romney to go bold and pick Paul Ryan because they believe that he has a vision for this country, that he is that problem solver. And you heard it in his speech, he's talking about America being at a critical place and that it is not a sustainable path that the country is on. This ticket is going to run as a ticket that will solve problems, that will restore America, as Paul Ryan has said today, to a path of greatness to fix these problems for generations to come. That budget that has that Medicare, of course, also Social Security, it would cut $5.3 trillion in the deficit over the next 10 years. They believe that is a message that Americans want to hear. They hear people, there's polling that shows most Americans believe the American dream is slipping out of their grasp. So that's what you're hearing today, and you're absolutely right. These are going to be big themes at the convention, but also in this campaign. And like Bob said, with that club that Romney made, several people already are immediately pointing out that President Obama made the exact same club four years ago when he introduced Joe Biden as president and then corrected itself and said vice president.